Tennessee becoming the latest state to say no to setting up its own health care exchange under Obamacare, meaning it will be up to the federal government to set one up. Republican Governor Bill Haslam joins us now to explain his decision. Good to see you, Governor. Thanks very much for joining us. Why did you make this decision? Well, uh, you know, we started with a premise, anything we can run, we'll do better than the federal government will. Uh, we, we, we think we can do it faster, better, cheaper than they can. But in the end, they couldn't answer our questions. Uh, and to, to go into something that's this vast of an enterprise and to have so many things unanswered, like I said, we've actually gotten 820 pages of, of rules in the last two or three weeks from them, by, still in draft form for something they, they've known was in the works for two years. So it just felt like to us they weren't organized enough, uh, well enough for us to, to, to do this with them. You are the chief executive of the state of Tennessee. Uh, right. Governors like to have as much control as they can. Uh, and here you are basically seeding uh, a, a lot of control when it comes to the health care of the people of your great state to the federal government. Any problems with that? Well, I, I have a lot of problems with that, but, I, but the decision on the exchange really wasn't going to make a big difference there one way or the other. We, we, our fear once we got into it was that the state-based exchange didn't give us a lot more flexibility or latitude than running with them would. Uh, or letting them run it would. Uh, in, in exchange for that, we were entering into this, like I said, partnership with them that they they wouldn't define for us. So I have a lot of issues with how the uh, the health care plan works out, how much decision making it takes out of not just state hands but individuals' hands. I have a major concern. I just don't think the state-based exchange was going to solve that problem. Governor, you said in a statement that you released on Monday uh, that you've opposed Obamacare from the very beginning, that you would hope that it would be uh, that that your efforts and those, those who agree with you would have been successful in the courts and at the ballot box. Uh, you weren't. You weren't successful in the courts, the Supreme Court uh, ruling in favor of Obamacare. You weren't successful at the ballot box. The president has just won a second term. Well, no, that's right. So our job now is to implement. Like I said, I don't like the law. I, I wish it hadn't been passed. I wish the uh, Supreme Court had overturned it, and I wish we'd had a different election in November, but we didn't. And so we have to deal with the reality. There are going to be exchanges set up in every state. Uh, the question is whether we were going to run them or have the federal government run them. But as the chief executive of the state, I didn't feel good about going into this part, this relationship mm -hmm. when they wouldn't define what it would look like. I don't think uh, p people kind of entrusted us with making those sort of decisions. And as ill-defined as this was, it was not the right thing for Tennessee. I just have a couple seconds, Governor. Is, is as John Boehner say, uh, has said, is Obamacare the law of the land, or are we going to continue to see uh, these sort of challenges and battles that, are, that, that, that opponents will hope will finally sort of chip away so that it goes away altogether? Well, I, I, like I said, I'm not a fan, but I think, for, at least for governors, we have to go on, go forward on the basis that this is what was passed, and we have to implement the pieces that we're responsible for. So, again, I'd love to see a different direction because I think it's incredibly costly for the federal government, for state governments. It's going to be very difficult, and for small businesses as well. So, I'd like to see it go away. In the meantime, uh, we're charged with implementing as as it is. Bill Haslam is the governor Thanks. of the great state of Tennessee. I look forward to visiting your state, seeing family in Memphis over the holidays. Uh, always fun to visit Tennessee. Thank you so much, sir. Come down and spend some money with us. Will do. <laughs>